Wow, I'm back. This is usually what happens. I go real, real easy on um, kind of marriage words and just, I would just rather not talk about it. Um, so one of the things, like I be wanting to put stuff in the community post that's like real life. Like I'm in it. I want to know what y'all be thinking, what y'all be doing. I was going to ask y'all like, Hey, what you be saying when folks be checking for you? Because that's been happening more, you know, lately with the, the tempting and all that. Like, um, I was going to ask y'all like what y'all be saying in a previous video. I had told y'all, like, I just be like, I'm married, but sometimes people don't care. And so I was going to put that in a community post, but I decided not to. And so all of trap soul all day, like whether it was my phone, the TV, whatever trap soul, Bryson Tiller, like there's so many songs on the album that I feel like speak to a lot of people's love stories. Right. And so in let them know, he says already got someone. That's what you tell them every day time and y'all know the first time i had shared that song was in a community post like i'm coming back for good so let them know it's mine already got someone that's what you tell them every time right and so i was laughing because i was like now god you know i was wondering that earlier and i was gonna ask them that earlier you know like what do y'all say when dudes be checking for you trying to holler or whatever like i already got somebody i'm taking it a lot of times i do just be saying i'm married it just depends um the next part though in the song he says uh, you said that what happened, girl, that was your prediction. Like, he's saying him and the girl that he with just got into it. Here come the ending. You said that what happened, girl, that was your prediction. Um, said, I never find no one like you, and I should have listened. Now, this is why I'm sharing this with y'all. Now, mind you, what I shared with the community post earlier this week, it was really early in the morning, like 5-something, and I heard a man telling the counterfeit, like, um, I wouldn't have, you know, did this with you, went went this route with you if if I knew. Let me clean this up. He said, if I knew what I knew now, I wouldn't have blank, 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 blank. That's what he said. But to add to it, the dream that I had in March of 2022, he straight up told the counterfeit in my dream, the Holy Spirit is between me and her. That's what he said in the dream. All right. Specific. Like I heard it and I woke up and I just typed it out. I was like, who's talking? Right now. Another thing is I never shared with y'all this one dream I had. I just wrote a post. That's the post I just said, found it because I dreamt it in March of 2022. Now, if y'all are like me, you've been dreaming stuff. Like I told y'all, like this is years in the making. Like this is like 2020 stuff I'm dreaming and it started happening like a year or two later. Like, so why would I not be surprised that things I dreamt last year wouldn't happen this year or in the future? But I never gave y'all all the details of that dream but all week that dream and another dream they have been like heavy in my remembrance and so if y'all are like me or you're not like me I don't know how close y'all are um with your spouse who God has identified as your spouse I don't know if you talk to them I don't know if you share I don't know if you share different things with them I don't know if you share all the dreams I don't know what level y'all are on with each other and that's quite frankly not my business but for a lot of y'all if you have shared different things with them, like, hey, you know, like, this is what I dreamt. If y'all do have that type of relationship or y'all talk about different things, the way Bryson Tiller says in that song, like, you told me that would happen, that was your prediction, and not on no, you feel some type of way, like, and I hope it don't work out. Not that. That's not, that's, no, that's how old man used to act in other relationships and dealings and situations with people. Not that, but on some real, like, hey, like, this is what God showed me. You know, like as a friend, I'm telling you that. And we know it's not no prediction. If God has shown me something and it's in the future, it's foresight to something that's insight, that is the gift of prophecy, right? So depending on y'all's relationship, your spouse may be very, very aware of your gifting to the extent of some of the stuff you might tell them. I had them like, well, that's not happening. That hasn't happened. Like, I don't even know why you dreaming that, right? Like, pfft. I don't either, right? But in a song, he's saying, um, you said that would happen. That was your prediction. No, that's not what it is. It's prophecy. And so for me, and just kind of like sitting here today and just really allowing myself to like get in that place of king of marriage, um, different things will, it's pride, it's shame. It's the, I don't want you to know that God really was showing you because I can't figure out why God was showing you, but that's one of the, okay, I'm going to say the only reason we need to be humble, but if he's been taking you through such a humbling, like, months, 
It's because when what you already spoke, whether to them, because like for me, like I share stuff on YouTube, I talk to him, all types of things. But when that actually happens, you, your heart has to be in the right posture. There, that dream I had in March, when I woke up, I was crying because I saw how it affected him, how it hurt him, what he was going through. Do y'all get what I'm saying? That's part of the humbling. Why would why would God not humble you before something like that? Before some disaster strikes, right? And even if it's where they was doing what they wanted to do with who they wanted to do it with, whom, whatever, and you not be prepared for that, but you not also be in the right heart posture so you can be there for them. So you can continue to be their friend and loving and not like a, and I told you, even though in the song, Bryson Tiller is very aware, like you told me that was going to happen. Yeah. Even when it didn't look like it to either one of us, when I didn't know why God was showing me that, because I know for some y'all don't say nothing. And even if y'all do talk, you don't share that with them. Me, on the other hand, no, nah, it just depends on how I come out. Like it just, it depends, right? It's important that we move a certain way so that they're not in a position where they're questioning our intention or our hearts or thinking we did something like, no, mind hear me pray. I don't never pray that. I be praying that God will be done in both of our lives. And that's it. That's all I be praying. I don't ever pray that nothing he do falls apart because that is not even love, first of all, but that's also witchy. You can't do that. So I don't know who need that, but when I heard Bryson Tiller say that in the song, I was like, hmm. And you don't want them accusing you of, you know, any of that. And um, we already went through that. Thank God. But it's like, stay humble and you know that God reveals your heart to them. But also it's a, it's a like, brace yourself type of thing. You got to be sturdy because you're going to have to be there for them. And see, for me, it happened on the flip side. He was right about a lot of stuff, like the ones playing, lying, the ones that made me have to go to the doctor. He was right about all that. And it, in nowhere was I thinking like he wanted that to happen, but he was aware. You get what I'm saying? And when you care about somebody, sometimes you do got to tell them that truth. Like, hey, hold on. Like, I'm, I'm for some reason, right? Because even if you say it like that, because I'm finna go back to, to for some reason, instead of saying, God said, I'm finna just saying, I don't know. I just feel like I'm finna start doing that approach. But um, he was right. And I knew he wasn't praying on a, my downfall. I knew he wasn't, you know, out here like I hope them do, do her, do her scandalous. I knew he wasn't praying at it, but he still was aware and, and he would be right. And I was like, dang, but it wouldn't make me mad at him. Okay. So I really lived in every shoe. I feel like I've been in every position, but yeah. stay humble. And for those of you who are really, um, living that right now, like in the physical, um, cause shorty was definitely trying to fight me in the dream. And I was like, Whoa, right. Um, just pray. Like there may be backlash retaliation, but God been building you up this whole time. You know who you are, you know whose you are, and you know how to handle it in the spirit realm before it even got to come to something in the physical. So pray because I'm going to keep it honest with y'all. And I feel like I always have when I removed myself from the counterfeit situations, it still hurt. Like and even knowing what God was saying about him, knowing how they treated me, all of that, it was still like, you still got to go through a process and stuff when you let other stuff go. You you do. You have to let it get out of your system. So just keep all that in mind because I, look, I've been there. I know how the husbands feel, what they've been through. I already did it. 